And now let's talk about includes. So includes is used whenever you want to see or determine if your string is found within another string. So for the syntax, you want to call includes on your original string and then see if the search string is found inside or within the string here. Now let's see some examples. So I have here a sentence. So this is my string. I'm going to assign it to sentence. So now I'm going to go uh, and call includes on my sentence to see if my sentence includes a given uh, string here. So for example, I'm going to use Fox and now because my sentence includes Fox, this will return true. Now, if I call includes with Fox with F capitalized, this will return false. This means that includes here is case sensitive. Now includes may also take in a second parameter and that second parameter is called position. And the position here is the index you want to start from checking if your string includes a given search string or not. So for example, if I use zero, this means that it's going to start from the beginning of the string. And this of course will turn true because from the beginning, it apparently includes Fox. Now, if I use the position 16, so here I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So F is at 16 here. So this will turn true because starting from 16, my is sentence here includes the string Fox. If I use 17, so this will start from O, this will return false. And that's it for includes. Let's move on to the next method.